you must have observed that when a speeding truck strikes a stationary car the car starts moving in the direction of force applied by the truck in this case the velocity of the truck decreases and the velocity of the car increases as we know that momentum depends upon the velocity of the given object thus a change in velocity will bring in the change in momentum as a result momentum of the truck decreases and the momentum of the car increases it is observed that the amount of decrease in the momentum of the truck is equal to the amount of increase in the momentum of the car so there is no loss of momentum in the collision this demonstrates the law of conservation of momentum according to the law of conservation of momentum when two or more bodies interact with one another the total momentum of the system remains constant provided no external forces are acting suppose a truck and a car is moving in the same direction with different velocities let the mass of the truck be m1 and its velocity be u1 so its initial momentum is m1 u1 let the mass and velocity of the car be m2 and u2 respectively so the initial momentum of the car is m2 u2 thus the total momentum of the truck and the car before collision is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 suppose the truck and the car collide for a short period of time t after the collision the velocity of the car and the truck will change let the velocity of the truck and the car after the collision be v1 and v2 respectively after the collision the momentum of the truck changes to m1 v1 and momentum of the car changes to m2 v2 suppose during the collision the force applied by the truck on the car is f1 and in turn the car exerts a force f2 on the truck from the newton's second law of motion the force exerted by the truck on the car is given by force f1 equals to mass of the car m2 into change in velocity of the car that is v2 minus u2 divided by time t now the force exerted by the car on the truck is denoted by f2 force f2 is equal to mass m1 into change in the velocity of the truck that is v1 minus u1 divided by time t the force exerted by the truck on the car is the action and the force exerted by the car on the truck is the force of reaction according to third law of motion force of action and reaction are equal and opposite now putting the values of force f1 and f2 and rearranging the terms we get the required equation of law of conservation of momentum equation on left hand side represents the total momentum of the truck and the car before collision equation on right hand side represents the total momentum of the truck and the car after collision this shows that the total momentum of the system of two bodies before and after the collision remains constant and conserved